It's so dark in here. Where's that stupid switch? Ah, can't see anything. Uh, oh, uh, air, air, uh, uh, there we go. Oh, geez. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, welcome back. Glad you're here because today we're talking about lighting ratios. Welcome back guys and today we're talking about lighting ratios. Now some of you may be asking what the heck is a lighting ratio? Well a lighting ratio is the difference in the amount of light from the highlight side to the shadow side of your subject's face. As you see here when we take light away from the shadow side the shadows get darker and when we add it back in the shadows get lighter resulting in a lower contrast lighting. Now today we're going to be talking about three of the most common ratios which will give you different degrees of contrast in your lighting. Here we're starting with our 3 to 1 ratio. You'll notice that on the shadow side of the face it's metering at 2.06 and on the highlight side we're metering at f4. This gives us a one and a half stop difference between the highlight side and the shadow side of the face and this is one of the most popular ratios used in portraiture. Now one of the most common questions I get is how do you identify a 3 to 1 ratio by sight? Well what I always say is you should be able to see the shadow well enough to where you can draw a line around it with your finger as it comes off the nose, yet still have full detail within that shadow area. Next we have our 5 to 1 ratio. This is 5 times the amount of light on the highlight side as there is on the shadow side. You'll see our shadow side is metering at 1.44 and our highlight side is metering just under 4 at 2.89. Now technically what the meter is reading here is showing us a 6 to 1 ratio. But for all intents and purposes the difference is small enough that this is a good representation of a 5 to 1 ratio. So how do you identify a 5 to 1 ratio visually? Well again we should be able to draw a line easily around the loop shadow from the nose and still have medium detail within that shadow. Finally we have our 8 to 1 ratio and while I did make the mistake again here of metering it to a 3.5 stop difference as opposed to a 3 stop difference you'll see that we can clearly see a shadow and easily draw a line around that loop shadow with our finger yet still have minimal detail within that shadow. Anything much darker than the 8 to 1 ratio or 12 to 1 ratio as we just saw is going to be pretty much pure black where the shadow side has no detail at all and there's no reading from the meter. Conversely, when both sides of the face have the same meter reading, this is what we call a 1 to 1 ratio or also known as flat lighting. This leads to an overall lack of any shadows on the subject's face and therefore leads to lack of any depth or three dimensionality. Thanks so much for being here today guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please leave some comments below and let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see. As always, I'd appreciate a like if you got something out of this. Be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. Really appreciate you being here, guys. What are you doing? I wasn't done yet. Turn it back on. Thank you. Sorry about that. As I was saying, thanks for being here, guys. We will see you next time. Really? Get out of here, fly. Ugh.